Our first award this evening is for civic leadership. Uh, Some of us can only imagine what it's like to come to a new and a strange country. Landon Moore understands the challenges and the obstacles that refugees and immigrants face when they come to this great country, the United States. Through the Star City Soccer Foundation, he is helping young athletes make the crucial transition to a new country, a country we proudly call America. Landon Moore is the founder and director of Star City Soccer Foundation in Roanoke, Virginia. Landon created City Star Soccer Foundation in 2009 as a nonprofit organization that provides refugees and immigrants with opportunities in education, leadership, and assimilation. The foundation aims to help refugee and immigrant students overcome challenges associated with the transition to a new culture so that they will become self-sufficient and valuable contributors to the local community. Moore formed this organization after his involvement as a head coach at William Fleming High School in Roanoke, where the majority of his teams were refugees or immigrants. From here, the SCSF finally raised money for 30 students to attend an academically focused soccer camp at Hollins University in July of 2009. The camp included four hours of tutoring, transportation to and from camp, breakfast and lunch, and two sessions of soccer for five days. The camp was so successful that they were able to do it again in 2010. In 2011, SCSF held the Refugee Cup, which brought together teams from Virginia, Tennessee, and Ohio, all comprised of refugees. The Star City Soccer Foundation raised their money through donations to pay for hotel accommodation, meals, and tournament fees for the team. The Star City Soccer Foundation has been able to provide after-school tutoring for students, as well as facilitate leadership camps through the Urban Soccer Collaboration. Currently, the organization is focused on raising money for the Endow Ruggieri Merriam Education Fund. The presenters for this award tonight, Dr. Paul Jarley, Dean of UCF's College of Business, Carol Wick, Chief Executive Officer of the Harbor House, and reading the inscription on the trophy to be presented, Dr. John Hitt, President of UCF, and Martha Hitt. Well, thank you, Bob. I'm delighted to be here to recognize Landon uh, and his well-deserved honor. Uh, The inscription on uh, his award reads as follows. Landon Moore, we honor you for using your leadership as a coach and the game of soccer to help young refugees and immigrants assimilate into a new culture. Through sport and education, you are teaching all team members to become self-sufficient individuals who will find success in their future and become valuable members of their community. Your hard work and dedication have changed the lives of hundreds of young men. Congratulations, Landon. Uh, We're all so very proud of you and your achievements. Thank you, thank you. Uh, what an honor! And uh, but I have to I have to be honest. I'm not much uh, not much for awards. And to me, awards are uh, you know, true rewards are uh, in the experiences. They're in the moments, uh, in the feelings of, of doing something and and accomplishing something. Uh, so to me, an, an award like uh, MVP trophies are meaningless uh, because the true award there would be in the understanding uh, uh, within. Uh, of you know one's value, uh, the understanding that you can do things that your teammates can't do, the understanding that that you'll be looked up, uh, up to by your teammates to carry the team, uh, to be a leader. Uh, on the same note, a certificate uh, for most improved, not really interested, has doesn't have much value to me. Uh, the prize there uh, should be self-recognition of growth, uh, the satisfaction of putting in the work and, and seeing it pay off, the fulfillment that comes with. Uh, new role on the team, uh, new, the new perspective that teammates have of you. Uh, so 
with that being said, and now that I'm being presented this award, I love awards. <laughs> Uh, just kidding, but it, it makes me think back to the people. It makes me uh, think about the events, the memories uh, that I've shared with uh, the Star City Soccer Foundation over the last five years. Uh, these are the true rewards uh, that I've been blessed with. And don't get me wrong, I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna send the award back, uh, Mr. Motombo. Don't even think about trying to take it from me. <laughs> I just wanted to do that. <laughs> Now, I accept, the, uh, I accept it with pride and gratitude, and, but mainly I want everybody to know here that I accept the award uh, more as a challenge for the work uh, that's still to be done than for recognition for, for the work that I have done. I accept it as a challenge uh, to do more, to actively, to more actively pursue the ideals that it and the NCAS represent. And finally, I want to say that uh, Dr. Lapchick's story has been one of the most inspirational and at the same time humbling stories that I've ever heard. Uh, there's so much value in the lessons that we can learn from him and the things that he's done. Thank you, Dr. Lapchick, for leading the way and for setting such an amazing example for, for others. And thank you to the NCAS for this challenge. Uh, here's to a future with more experiences and greater challenges. Thank you. Congratulations, Landon. You got the right name for a soccer player. And impressively, nearly as impressive, but not as impressive as the work he does, he told me he tied that bow tie himself. <laughs> Which to me is amazing. This is not a clip on. Landon, congratulations again on your award um, and being here tonight with the NCAS. Um, tell us, you know, while you're still in the moment, tell us how you're feeling about this award. Well, uh, thank you. I, I, feel, uh, I feel honored to be here uh, and to be around so many uh, amazing individuals with, with so many uh, you know, amazing stories and just a great organization here. And um, so I'm just proud of, uh, of not so much my accomplishment, but, but really of um, kind of thinking of, of what I can do moving forward and kind of the inspiration that, um, that has have really uh, have been inspired with today. Great, great. Now, you know you're a lifetime member of the consortium now, so if you didn't know, you know now. <laughs> um, with that being said, what does that mean to you, and how would you best use your membership? Yes, well, I'm looking forward to, uh, as I said in my speech, that I'm looking forward to the future and to uh, not, not so much the work that I've done, uh, but really looking forward to, to what I can do uh, more in the future and, and pursuing the ideals that, that Dr. Lapchek has uh, you know, put into uh, this organization, and so I, I, I'm grateful that I'm a, that I'm a lifetime member. Uh, I look forward to uh, to just continuing to fulfill uh, the mission that the, the NCAS um, has put forth, and every day in my in my own life, and continuing to find ways that I can uh, impact other lives. Uh, you know, even more and more. Wonderful, wonderful. Just one more question. Um, we know that all of your loved ones couldn't be here with you tonight to experience this. What would you go back and share with them about your experience? Wow. Um, <laughs> I think uh, for my wife, Meredith, I will uh, tell her all about the evening and, and the people that I've met and the stories that I've heard. And for my, for my little son, Mac, who's five months old, uh, I, I just look forward to, uh, you know, Every day with him and and, and raising him uh, and and you know instilling the same ideals in in him and his character and and uh, so hopefully uh, you know he can uh, will be you know he'll definitely be aware of NCAS and hopefully he will uh, have the same uh, sort of uh, character within himself. Wonderful, wonderful, man! And thank you and congratulations again. Thank you, appreciate it.